I'm uh, attempting to do a medieval Total War 2 replay. My commentary is not good at all because I don't play this game because it lags me online. As you can see, it's not lagging in single player. It's just lagging a little bit from the screen capture, but the actual. That's max settings for unit detail. Pretty close to max resolution. Um, it tends to lag me online for some reason in multiplayer, so it's a connection based thing. I don't know if it's the Windows setting on my computer or my connection, or it's just having trouble making a connection to Australia. If anyone knows the solution to that, or if that's a common issue, Medieval 2 lagging online, please tell me how to fix it, and I might tr start playing this game and I'll give you better commentaries. So I'm just going to just go through basic unit types here because I don't know anything about how these units actually work in this game, what their special qualities are, or how the uh, online battles work out between factions. But you should, if you're an experienced medieval player, you should be able to see basically what's going on in this battle and form your own opinion. Also, if you want to add some comments or captions to improve people's understanding of what's going on in the video, do that. And then maybe I can start to learn what's going on in the game. Looks like he's versing Portugal. So these looks like some sort of heavy infantry. Maybe they've got a... Is that like some sort of axe? Hammer axe? It's probably got a hack, armor piercing and stab attack of some sort. So anyway, just mounted Portuguese musketeers in the front line there. I think these are armor piercing when they get into a certain amount of range. From what I've read from the unit description. Conquistadors, heavy cavalry. I don't think these are heavier as some of the other heavy cavalry in the game. Slightly faster maybe. Conquistadors as well. Conquistadors, so five units in total, two on each flank, one behind. Actually don't know which one his general's bodyguard is in. And I don't know how you tell upgrades, maybe you have to look at the actual um, skins of the units to work out upgrades. I think they change depending on what upgrades the unit has. It's got a pretty limited unit type there versus Spain. So this replay was sent in by uh, Emunis, I think it's spelled E-U-M-E-N-I-S, who plays Rome Total War. It's playing as Spain. Maybe similar units to Portugal, since they're uh, geographically in a similar region. Looks like it's got some pike here. Pike militia, dismounted conquistadors, dismounted conquistadors, conquistador cavalry, genitus. I think they're like some sort of javelin. Javelin armed light cav, skirmish cav. He's going to attack the conquistadors. And he's got crossbowmen in his front line, crossbow militia. So I think he might be using these ones in the back as a counter cavalry unit. His opponent is Nifer two three four three two. Seems to have slaughtered the always well, take these inflicting casualties on the musketeers. I think the crossbow maybe has slightly better range than the musketeers, I'm not sure. Or maybe the other way around. 
tell me who has uh, more range in the comments section. So, Portugal is going for a charge on that skirmisher cav unsuccessfully. He's charging his heavy knights, uh, dismounted conquistadors, into the front line. Uh, so he's actually put his pike in the front line there to block them. Maybe that line is a little thin, I don't know. It seems to have broken the pike wall, so maybe it was a little bit thin. We're probably ready up for a rear charge here. Since uh, Portugal's cav is removed from the front line a little bit. So quite much he doesn't lose this cap here, striking the weakest unit. I'm not sure if that will route on contact. They seem to last a little bit longer in medieval compared to Rome. That was a morale route then. It's got one unit in reserve here. So that's screen capture lagging me there, that's not graphic settings. So he's cleaned out the Portuguese front line. Portuguese had a bit of a cavalry in reserve there. He's not really engaging these. So I don't know how experienced this guy is as an opponent. You wouldn't think he'd just have them sitting there, not in the fight. I think he's forgotten those units. They could have been critical in shifting the tide of the battle. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. So if you want to send me Medieval 2 replays, send them in the same way you'd send me Rome Total War and I'll try to commentate to the best of my abilities. If you don't want me to commentate because I'm doing a very bad job of it, um, just tell me and I'll put music over the top instead. <laughs> 